we begin with understanding the revealed preference theory. The revealed preference theory is propounded by Paul Samuelson in 1938, which studies the behavior of people while making choice. It is a behavioral ordinal utility theory which studies the behavior of consumer and his preferences. Hicks has also given the ordinal utility theory, but his theory is introspective while revealed preference theory reveals the preferences of consumer by studying their behavior while they are making their choices. So the choices of consumer shows their preferences. The revealed preference theory is based on strong ordering of consumer choice, where consumer or purchaser is revealing its strong preference for some bundle of goods and refuses to choose the other bundle of goods. While under the weak ordering, consumer may show the preference, but he can be indifferent among the choices. Now let's see the theory. According to this theory, from the available combination of goods, whatever consumer is choosing, it reveals the preference of consumer for that particular combination of goods. The basic hypothesis is, choices reveal preferences of consumer. That is, there are three bundles of goods, X, Y, Z. Consumer selects X over all the other bundle of goods because the chosen bundle he likes more or the chosen bundle is cheaper than the other available bundles. Now, if consumer purchases X either due to its less price or if the prices are higher, but the consumer prefers X because he likes this combination than other available combination. This is called the strong axioms reveal preference where consumer rules out other available options of goods for one choice. Let's try to understand this with the help of simple diagram. In this diagram, good X is shown on the horizontal side and good Y is shown on the vertical side. As given the income and the prices, LM curve is a price income curve of purchaser. On this given line, consumer is able to choose any bundle given on the line and inside the LM curve. Consumer prefers bundle A on LM curve because combination C and D are relatively inferior than A and combination E is beyond the reach of the consumer. So bundle A is revealed preference of consumer. So the consumer behavior of choosing bundle A or the giving preference to the bundle A is the strong order of consumer. We can also say this behavior as strong isium revealed preference where consumer is preferring A over B and B over C and D. So this shows a proper strong order while in weak ordering consumer can be indifferent between A and B bundle. Now let us understand derivation of demand curve through revealed preference theory. Professor Samuelson propounded the law of demand based on revealed preference hypothesis on the basis of some assumption. We will see those assumptions. Number one, the taste of consumer remains constant. Number two, the choice of consumer shows the preference of consumer for that particular commodity. Number three, consumer chooses only one combination of good at any point of time on price income line. Number four, consumer prefers combination of more goods than less in any given situation. Number five, Samuelson also assumes consistency in behavior of the consumer that if consumer prefers A instead of B in one situation, then it can't opt for B instead of A in other situation. This is called two term consistency. Number six. Samuelson has given theory of revealed preference on the basis of assumption of transitivity, which refers to three term consistence. For example, if A is preferred to B and B is preferred to C, then A is also preferred to C. This assumption is the base of this theory because consumer has to make consistent choice for all the given choices. Seven. Income elasticity of demand remains positive. Demand curve of an individual 
can be derived with the help of revealed preference theory. Let us try to understand this with the help of diagram. Panel A where money has been taken on y axis and quantity of goods G on x axis. LM is the initial price income curve where consumer shows its preference on point R and purchases OA amount of good. Now, if suppose the price of G has fallen, so the new price income line is LS where consumer prefers point T and buys OB amount of goods. Here we can see preference of consumer has been changed from point R to T. This figure 2 change can be said price effect because of decrease in price of G. So, the fall in price of G leads to increase in the demand from OA to OB. The real income of consumer has been increased because of fall in the price of G. So, if we take away this increase in real income, let us say LP amount of money from the consumer, the new price income line would be PQ, where consumer again opts the point R where he was earlier. Thus, between P and R is not preferred by the consumer because he does not want to decrease the consumption of good G. So, point R would be consistent choice for consumer. If the PL amount of money which were taken from the consumer is returned again, consumer will prefer the point T where he will be able to buy more goods of G. We can make the demand curve with the help of panel A as in panel A where the price of G is OL divided by OM that is OP in panel B. The demand of G is OA and when the price of G falls to OL divided by OS the demand of G increases from OA to OB. We can join these combination as a point E and E1 in panel B, we will find a smooth demand curve. So, this way we can derive the demand curve with the help of revealed preference theory. Moving ahead, let us look at weak isom revealed preference and strong isom revealed preference. The preference of consumer shows the best option he can choose among the provided options. But there are some assumptions of rationality while consumer makes choices and these assumptions are called weak isom reveal preference and strong isom reveal preference. First we will discuss weak isom reveal preference. The weak isom reveal preference assumes the two term consistence while making choices by consumer. It means if at P1 price X is directly revealed preferred to Y, then Y can't be revealed preferred to X at that price or even at any other price. Suppose if Y is revealed preferred to X at P2 price, it is the violation of weak assume revealed preference. We can understand WARP by this figure. In this figure, we have taken commodity X on X axis and commodity Y on Y axis. There are two price lines MM1 and NN1 on which two different combinations are given. Suppose if a consumer is choosing X1 B1 bundle on P1 P2 prices, then we can say that X1 P1 plus B1 P2 reveal preferred to X2 P1 plus B2 P2. Now, it is not possible to choose X2 B2 bundle by consumer even in the next choice. Otherwise, it will be considered the violation of WARP because consumer is not consistent in his choice. Let us now learn the strong isom revealed preference. The assumption of SARP is based on another assumption which is said assumption of transitivity. For example, if A is revealed preferred to B, and B is revealed preferred to C, then A is also revealed preferred to C. This assumption is crucial for revealed preference theory for making consistent consumer choice. For example, 
if a combination x1 y1 revealed preferred to combination x2 y2 and x2 y2 is revealed preferred to x3 y3 then x1 y1 will also be revealed preferred to x3 y3 this is called three term consistence let us summarize the chapter. Reveal preference theory shows the choices of consumer when they are given certain options. This theory is studying the behavior of consumer which is more realistic way of studying consumer's behavior. It also replaces the assumption of continuity of indifference curve theory of Hicks and accepting the strong and weak order assumption which is superiority of this theory over Hickson's theory. But there are some limitations also as revealed preference theory is assuming that consumer is irrational while making choices and that is the base of this theory that choices reveal preferences. But it is not always correct. Many times consumer does not act rationally. Thank you.